It's gonna be Zen on the Lucio, Redux on the Junkrat, False God on the Brigitte, and Arcadia on the Widowmaker. On the other hand, here's the Troy Henry's and Co. It'll be the Troy Henry squad. <laughs> and he's just dancing around. I'm glad everyone's having a little fun here. A Swiss, Swiss 2 a to a Swiss 20 army on Lucas. I'm so confused right now what is happening. But for now, we do have the blue team already taking control of this as per usual. The Chiaki squad strikes hard and fast. Wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready right now. But let's go. Let's go into the game. Chiaki gonna be hiding on to the left hand side. We do see Zap now playing that Rodog. Wants to go for a hook but gets hacked. Up. Gets pinned up instead by the Reinhardt. Arctania now with a pick off on to Troy Henry. The other side is available. Can Arctania actually get a kill in too? Doesn't need the Rodog now first to fall. In the meantime, Swiss jumping up in the air. Doesn't really get much. And this is gonna be the blue team in control of this. They might wanna switch out the lineup a little bit to try and contend with the blue squad. And we do have the Reinhardt and Zarya right now from Zap and Harlequin. On the other hand, Mrs. Zombie is trying to heal up to everyone as much as they can. There you go, Arc Daniel now with another snipe on to H4. Arc Daniel are getting the free reign to actually do this. And Troy Henry will go for the sweep in play. Has to deal with the Widowmaker and is able to get them. Now tomorrow gonna go for the rest. Gets an armor pack instead and Redux with the kill. Star is available. Meter Strike now comes on out. Swiss up in the sky. Goes for the land. Doesn't get much. And it's gonna be a stun now from the Brigitte. What the blue team is running is they do have this lineup very very strong in close quarters with the Brigitte in full and that's all you really need just the Brigitte to make yourself as powerful as can be. On the other hand, the red team now switching up a bunch of tactics. We do see a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 support composition here from the red squad. The only one outlying will be Harley Quinn due to the fact that he's gonna have to grab the surge in just a bit. Sapphire and Rally now are popped by the spawn camping squad of the blue team. There you go with the grab, but Chiaki with the kill on to two. On the other hand, here's Zap with the sick down on to the Junkrat. And this is gonna be an just one camp here for the blue team. As to I, I, I do not know why I even let this happen in the first place. So I, I let these guys stack up like this. But then it's up to uh, Troy Henry if they want to squeeze split apart. As then now we to take down there on to Troy Henry. The Lucia just dancing around still onto the point. And if you guys do want to join, feel free to do so at the battle tag down below. It's just one six five six. Chatter now comes on out. It's not gonna be enough. And the Sombra trying to go for the hack again, but H4Z1 not really spotting out any targets out of position. The red team though points back inside thanks to the efforts of the spawn camp here from the blue team. And it's just gonna be a minute remaining, the red team still struggling to get outside. Demora now just whipping out the pistol. This just hasn't really worked out here for the blue, the red team. They just haven't been able to actually come outside their spawn. A very strong showing here from the blue squad. The Riptar now is available. The two Junkrats spotting each other out. It's very dangerous here for Redux. He gets hooked up and finally gets taken down. For the red squad, they can actually use the second floor now as a staging point to try and get a kill. But we have a shot here from Chiyaki trying to turn things around. Stun comes up. It's not going to be enough. 2 for 1. Make that a 3 for 1 here for the blue team. Intercite now has to pop to just try to counter out the Sombra. Even hits the better mine in this fight. We have the rally now, False God pushing on in progress when one of my team gets a kill. Uh, this is one of the situations where gold elim is won. So 10 seconds remaining. Payload just, actually the payload is really close to the spawn. So the good thing here for the red squad is if they don't see 9 this, they will have pretty much spawn advantage this whole fight. Troy Henry now switching over to the Winston as Zap pops the full hug. Good 5 grenades there from Swiss. And this zombie is trying to whittle down the Mercy. The Valkyrie though putting in work, just healing up the Mercy in that fight. Naretina wants to come back in and out of this one to get the healing that they need. Harley Nilo getting booped up and that's gonna be the round. Is this season one? This is... Uh, this is... This is a uh, this is a uh, this is a game. That's 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 what we is. This is a game, guys. And in all these games, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Not down to press out Wang on stream. I love you. Okay, there you go. Shout out to uh, 
<laughs> Shout out to Chiyaki. You guys are so sweet. You guys are so sweet. So, do you guys want a shuffle or do you wanna go again? <laughs> That's the real question. For these guys, shout out. Let's go again. Please teach yourself. I think we need to go. I need to go on the map that is an escort. I just feel like we need something a little more fight oriented. Maybe a control map would be nice. But yeah, this has been extremely one sided so far, and the red team made that much progress. Uh, I don't know what to say. It's literally going down to the corner store, seeing your dad who bought some cigarettes, not, you know, not leave your family or anything. Because the red squad gonna have to defend the spawn itself at the same time. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be interesting to say the least. But then I do appreciate Troy Henry and Coach uh, for being such good sports about it. I would love to see you guys in the lobby if ever, as well. Not no no need to be a six stack guys. All for fun here. We can just shuffle things out if you guys do want to practice. On the other hand, if you guys want to practice your teamwork, this is the best way to do so through thicker thin spots a bastard out in front. And there's the charge chart. Now one for one trade so far. I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed. It's more of I want you guys to have fun. Oh my god, Troy Henry with two! What a guy! What a player this junk rat getting three kills before his death. But this is gonna be the red team now losing their members thanks to the fact that Timora is set up. And this was a pleasure. This is I was I'm honestly just a little worried you guys might not be having fun. But if you guys are having fun, it's okay with me. This is uh, this is community scrims. I enjoy any kind of level. But thank congratulations to the blue team. <laughs> Win a victory already. What what a what a game. What a game. Play of the game. Toy Henry. Fought you over win, remember that. <laughs> this is all this is a, such a Pog champ play here from Troy Henry. He fucking he gets he gets not only one, but two with a concussive and perfect grenades there at the end as well. And and that's a that's a that's a that's a game. Hey. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused. I am gonna take a bath. Okay, okay, okay. Tomorrow's gonna take a break first, take a bath. So, anyway, we do have Chiyaki on the side. <laughs> what? Okay, finally. Okay, guys, finally we're gonna have our scrims. The fuck? Uh, how can you even smell? How can we even smell you? Okay, we do have. Let's go back to the game. Come on, come on. So anyway, welcome guys to Lee Chang Tower. Action is already going on, but we do have a Torbjorn here from Arc Daniel. So basically what Arc Daniel wants to do is allow the turret to get some crossfire in, and they go for a kill onto the real Kalam. And we do see the debut of two absolutely new players to not only scrims but to Overwatch itself. We have the real Callum and we have the real Dodge. I wonder who these guys are. So as we now see Firepacken taking a nap. Good sleep right there from Deity. Sensi though with a pick off on the Thorgrin. Turn falling as well in Kutsun. So we do see an Anu boost now from the side of the red team, Chiyaki does just making the train with some right clicks. And on the other hand, Reaper trying to return the favor with his own laser beams. And now the Zarya gonna push on in, but Arcana with the flank this time playing something proper. Deals all the trace that the Callum goes for the Dragon Blade as well, but it's not gonna be enough in this fight. My ultimate. So the red team ready with two ultimates as Dodge setting <laughs> setting up up in front. I just find the names pretty funny. It's Car Falcon on the other hand moving on in. We'll have to go for the duel here against Dodge. Closure going for the group on in doesn't really get much with the right click. And now Sensi with the pickoff. Sensi has been absolutely very very strong in the backline, causing so much chaos and getting those kills. Graviton Surge now coming out from the side of the red team. And the Tracer is ignoring this honestly, going for a kill on to the Zarya instead. In the meantime though, the red team still in control. Chiyaki with a pickoff now on to Callum. Shatter still is available. Graviton Surge this time coming out and we have the Dragon Strike as well in combination. Redux now with 3, just not even looking for that kill. Chaos Bruiser popping up the coalesces as well. And finally the push here from the blue team works out in their favor. 
So Blue Team expending their potent combination in that fight. Using the Graviton and the Dragon Shite to secure the kills, and now they have the momentum. Arcane capitalizing with the kill onto the real Talon. Both of them now is available. Two tracers going for a duel, and practice might be the target. Sadly, the Zenyatta not getting the hits as of yet. Here comes the Tracer once again into the fight, has to retreat, gets the med pack in time. Can Arctinia still have? No, he won't. Finally, the Zen with the kill, but it might be too late as the blue team now pushing on in once again. Here comes Bata Batuta. And the boost bump stick there on the Redux, gets the kill as well on the Chaos Cruiser. Sensi turning things around on his own. Closure has to hop away, but the Lucio is gonna go for the wall ride, falls off in the meantime. Blue team though gets back onto the point. Post bomb comes on out. Arctania not really getting much good drop there from Dodge this to actually drop the shield. Sambire now here from the Lucio. And we have a Nano Blade in response. Rio Callum dashing on gets a cut onto the bow. Now will cleave out the sleeping Moira. Wants to go for now the Reinhardt next. Farfalcon going for some hammer swings, but Deflect does its job. The red team getting the point back. And it's gonna be Chiaki even staggered in this fight. The blue team. Struggling after the fact of one combination. So it is gonna be a game of combos between these two by or has been reflected on. So good call there from Callum to just get the reflect out, not allow Redux to get the healing done. Callum though falling down, almost dies in that fight. Transcendence is available, but it's not gonna be needed. So the red team is the first win 155. So guys guys do want to join feel free to do so feel free to do so down below in with the battle tag i'll still find it a little funny if we don't even get to an hour worth of scrims today but it is what it is i really feel like people are not really too into playing a little competitively anymore in terms of the scrims but instead since we have a tournament it's becoming a little more pseudo serious, so we'll see what we'll do about the scrims in the future, in the in the immediate future. Everyone gets their plus. Thank one. you for the subscribe right there, Cal. Oh, Cal, thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. I hope to do uh, another WTF sesh with you guys this week since there's no more OD to do anyway. Dodge though, gonna go for the roll on and Firefly and getting his speed boost there from closure. Sensi with a takedown onto one. I actually, still have the VOD, so. Uh, I'll release it when we actually work on another session with you guys. For now, the red team trying to get on into the fight. This is going to be a contest here from the blue squad, however, just staying near the corner. But Kalam with the pick off onto one. Dodge on the other hand, playing his namesake hero. Gonna go for a roll around. It's going to be kill onto two. They're going to bowl on in onto Chiaki, and he just gets massacred by both the Tracer and the Genji. Redux now popping off, gets two heads. Not going to be enough as closure. We'll go for the wall ride, and we'll get taken down instead. No more Jets to trade for him. Oh, Kalam! That was. That was that was that was something. <laughs> lag. I think your brain was lag. So yeah, please enjoy your your cute little emotes right there. Boop would come on out, but practice not getting the boop in that fight. Chiyaki out in front, and what Chiyaki wants to do is just get enough energy to get the graviton on out. On the other hand, it's gonna be a dragon blade now here from Callum. Good sound fire in response from closure. The blue team now gaining the point on back. Will they be able to take it? Yes, they will. I don't know why we were in control center, but Arcanium with a pick off on two this time. Pushes on in. Wants to go for Sensi. Good boop there from practice. And the tracer forced to retreat. Crap, it's raining really hard. Goes from now onto the floor. Chiaki getting a lot of energy for that. Look how glowing this area is in this fight. The Graviton Surge still in to check, and Dodge will pop the mines down below. Sandbire here from the squad of the red team. Graviton Surge there into the middle, and Redux will use it as cover to go for the Dead Eye. Doesn't get much in this fight, and Practice will be able to get the kill. Fire Falcon now. Shatter is abound. He's just going for the swings. Rebirth gets the mech, falls into the pond. So for now, the blue team taking control of this very handily. 40% for them and no Faras here for either side. And the real question is, can Dodge get an environmental kill or two or can Practice do the same thing in kind? Directing Ball wants to go for the roll on and hits the corner. But is still able to get the pile driver on out. Oh, very questionable here. Good boop from Closure. This is going to be an opportunity for Blue Team to push on into the bridge. Just has to be careful as Practice is stalking around. Might go for the boop. Now, for the blue team, they're gonna go for the push once again. 
Lamentos AFQ for some reason and since he has switched off over to the Doomfist, <laughs> they died. But looks like Genji back into the fight, but it might be too late. As of already 75%, 228 here in favor of the blue team. The red squad not even close to the blade. We do have the nano boost, can be used in any of these fights. Grab the surge once again from Chiaki on point. Gets a close bomb there. Arc Daniel takes down two. Wants to go for the Ana next and Deity a lot under a lot of pressure. The tracer now with a one clip onto the head of the Ana. Rebirth is next to fall. We do see Callum and since he going for the fight, the Doomfist with the squish on the closure. A duel here between Arteño and Callum is interrupted by Dodge. The Wrecking Ball back into the fight. Can use the mines at any time. But here comes the, uh, the concave of the blue team. Fire Falcon going for the Fire Strike. But the red team still needs to go for the contest. Because they have lost the point in this fight. Three ducks with the dead eye. Callum shows on up. And there's the kill from the Genji. In the turn, we do see a Dragon Blade now from the side of the red squad. They get the point back at the last moment. And Callum swoops on in with a team kill. Solid work so far here from the Red Squad. Finally getting it back I in that fight. A great defense there from the blue team. But it just wasn't enough. As soon as Callum got the blade, turned things around with those kills. Good stagger in as well. It were most or less one, -on -one, one for one trades in that fight. So now the blue team's gonna go in from the safer side. The blue squad get pooped around by the red team ball. A punch comes on that, however. Sound fire now to keep Sensi alive. And it's gonna be the red team now going for the push on in. Callum once again, probably lagging. He has used his bait for Reaver to get two kills with the self destruct. Fire Falcon getting pooped up, almost gets the pin there onto Sensi. Just gonna be enough in Arcania Force to retreat. So now we see the Valkyrie pop here from KS Cruiser trying to keep this fight alive. Chiyaki O falls thanks to the efforts of Rebirth and the Diva actually clutching things out in this fight. Rebirth honestly bringing things around thanks to that self disrupt using Calamitous as bait in the Utu San Rocha. So under a lot of pressure from his parents in that fight. But just Rebirth clutching it out, being the certain Diva main that he is. Three ultimates already here for the red team. Gonna be a wrecking ball, popping the mines. There you go, Padraker comes on out. We go for the delay. Chiaki though has to step on, can capitalize with the kills. And it's gonna be Rebirth now with another takedown of the self disrupt. Oh, the point has been flipped, but for how long? Arcanial immediately cleaves up. Redux, the only chance here, way too far away. Well, well, might pop the dead eye in this fight, but it's gonna be too late. That's gonna be the red team winning this 2 to 0. Solid. That was. Gotta go. Thanks for the game. So early, dude. Play yeah, play the game going there over to Sensi. And. Yeah, that's. Uh, this, is a, this is one of the closer games, honestly. Especially showing up on uh, Lee Jang Tower Gardens. It was. It was something to bring back. <laughs> Easily pair up the Diva with anything or anyone, but still, you might want to expect a Zarya instead of the Reinhardt. And we do see the Shimada Bros full, full cry and Natsukashi in the game. On the other hand, here's Kalam gonna be on Genji, practice on the Ana. So we have the Nana Blade into play, and Daisy will be on the Moira. So this is gonna be a lot more healing for the red team in return. They're not gonna have the utility of maybe a Discord Orb, no speed boost as well. But they now tossing the Bio Orb and Sensi with the perfect pick already. Not Sakashi, the first to fall. Here comes Polkai once again, trying to get away. You see some right clicks there, and it's gonna be Sensi now into the sky. The red team trying to take control of this fight, and they're getting the picks that they need to get onto the point. There's a sleep bird now coming out from practice, gets a diva. Good, good charge there from Fire Falcon. Closure, closing in, but now gets the mech, the baby diva forced to go away. Full cry wants to go on in once again, but it's not gonna be enough. Sensi with a perfect shot at the end. The first stick now being taken. And it's gonna be an easy capture here for the red squad within the minute. What well, the red team just did there. Perfect dive from Dodge and Rebirth. Good coordination to go for the pickoff. And they were able to get the Diva, I believe, first and foremost. And Closure was able to get back into the fight thanks to the thrusters, which is not gonna be enough. Self-destruct now is available, so Closure can make a space here onto the oncoming attack. On the other hand, Coalescence is out in the bot, so Deity can go for the push in this fight, and the Nano Blade now will be into play. So this is what we've been waiting for. Callum in practice, just waiting to get the sparks running. 
Just letting her trip with the blade. On the other hand, the blue squad will try to counter this. They have the shatter, so far might want to aim it. This will be Nano Blade now coming on in. Go go cool for the kill onto Natsukashi, but that's gonna be not gonna be enough with the wall, wall climb. Will cry on the other hand with his own blade. No nano boost inside, able to get the kill onto Diana. Next will be Sensi, but good melee there from the Widowmaker to take get the takedown. Dragon Strike now coming through, spawn to cut a path towards the middle ground, but it's not gonna be enough as the red team already with a pick off onto two. Closure forced to fly on out. Natsukashi switching over to the Reaper, and we have to just set this from Master to keep the mech tough to enough. But the real question is can the blue team get any kills as Callum is close to another blade within the next fight? Can he actually get it out? The self destruct is there from Reaper, it's not gonna be enough. The, two th the blue team already with two picks. Reaper now flying up on top once again. We'll try to go for the sneaky one tick, cake tick. But the demon now forced to back on out, and we'll see if he's gonna actually try to stay alive. He's just being chased down here by Full Cry, and there's the D-Mech. A lot of ult charge going the way of the Genji, honestly. I would prefer that if the Diva just dropped them down instead. But it's gonna be the blue team with a successful hold. Good. Oh, the casters are not correct. What is that? Redux is, Redux is a caster, but he's in the. Oh, he's in the spec. Kappa. Okay, Scrooge now ready with the coalescence and Sensi getting free reign. That's what they do on point B. Dragon Blade now comes on out. Callum trying to force things out. And it's gonna be a coalescence assisting the Genji to get the kill. It's a raid form from Natsukashi to stay invulnerable. And Cruel Cry will try to go for the Hero Blade. It's not gonna be enough. The point now under a lot of action. And Closure once again just delaying the inevitable has to self destruct. The real question is can he stay alive when the pilot comes on out? The Diva needs to be here and it will stay on for the time being. Dodge We'll go for the jump to the back line. It's not gonna be enough to get the kill or two because he's the one who gets traded out instead. Farfak and ready with the shatter doesn't want to use it in this fight. But the red team getting that sneaky one one tick that we were talking about. 40% now for the red team, but they have lost a lot of time in this fight thanks to the stagger efforts there from closure. Natsu and Farfak and ready to combo in once again. And Natsukashi just hiding here. Might want to go for the taunt to try and get the third person perspective, but the Reaper forced to go down against the uh, oncoming presence of the Winston. Interesting enough though, Natsukashi just hiding, wants to go for the Death Blossom, but guess what? Not by the Genji is forced to raid form away. Interesting movement there, and this is gonna be the Red Team now trying to contest once again. There's the coalescence this time from Chaos Cruiser, healing up the flying Genji, but it's not gonna be enough for him to be topped up. Dodge now popping the Prime Rage with the Nana Boost just beats on Aster. And here comes Kala once again with the blade. Trying to cut the path to the point. There you go. Chaos Cruiser gets taken down. Closure at the corner once again. There's the contest from the Diva. Hops on out. Second tick has been taken. And Full Cry now will be the bait and gets eaten up. Gobbled there by the Widowmaker. Aster with a transcendence, but not this time. Says practice by grenade comes on out to shut things down. Self disrupt now into the air, and it's a kill onto the Zenyatta. Once again, Rebirth showing off his bomb prowess. Here comes Natsukashi rolling around, trying to get a pin or a kill. But the Wrecking Ball just in a rotary motion. Full cry with the Dragon Blade using the Wrecking Ball as cover, but it's not gonna be enough there. Not no kills going the way of the blue team so far. Closure switching over to the Brigitte. Interesting choice. I would have preferred him staying on the Diva instead. Has made so many miracles with the delay. Farfak and though is shocking and trying to get someone's off. But here comes Dodge Dish onto the corner. Sensi once again with the pick off. We do see again she's flying into the air, but Full Cry doesn't have the blade. Trying to just bait it out. It's not gonna be enough now. As Kalam has the Dragon Blade, has the Nana Boost, and has the point. I've said it's not gonna be enough like how many times in that conversation. <laughs> That's the thing about casting guys. Sometimes you end up recalling these safe words you have. Like terms that you feel like you can rely on but then notice it. You notice it, it becomes a little redundant so just a quick little casting tip there. Please, please, please don't. Rotate, I rotate, rotate to learn. Repeat your words too much. It's, it's, it's like it's a little fallacy. To be honest, in the casting world, if you guys need help in trying to figure out the words that you're gonna use, I'd, I'd suggest literally sleeping on a thesaurus. You might get something out of it. Sup, Quinn? Ayo, ayo, ayo. You guys gonna join? Feel free to do so. We just have 
12 people anyway. We don't really... 12, 13 people like that. So no real subs. If you guys do want to join SS6 stack, feel free to do so. Troy Henry did a while ago. It was a... It was a pleasure of a game, to be say the least. But for now, it is going to be the blue team on the attack. Full cry saying he has been struggling. Uh, to be fair to Full Cry though, he didn't have a Ana the same way Callum did. So he had these blades that were contested, yes. But on the other hand, like if you compare it to the Nano Blade, the damage resistance just very, very useful to go for the killer too. On the other hand, for Full Cry though, he had to play a little more safely. I hate to kill you. So this is gonna be the blue team running the classic Lucia on. Uh, We'll still stick with the Reinhardt here from Fire Falcon. On the other hand, Dodge is already on the Wrecking Ball. Just gonna go for the roll around. And once again, everyone using the scrims to level up their smurfs. What what the guy these guys? The real Dodge is now level 2. As there's gonna be a rooftop engagement here as Natsukashi on the Doomfist. He's gonna try to go for a punch, but Callum already hopping on out. Venomine doing work and will get the takedown. The Venomine perfectly timed there by Sensi. And he got the headshot as well. So Doof is easily falling in that fight. For now, the red team trying to take control of the corner. Might want to go for a boop or two. But it's Rebirth now isolated in the face of Chaos Cruiser. Good thrusters to get on out. The blue team only with one pick up. It's Callum. Sleep Dart out gets taken down by Aster. Sleep Dart once again. This time on to practice. I, it's not practice rather, it is... Who's that? I think that was, that was, that was Sensi. Sensi though, on to the Widow. Goes back up on top to the Perch. Trying to get a target or two. We'll try once again with the Deflect. And there you go. Intrasight now is available. Good headshot. But the Defense Matrix eats up the Venomine. Something Chaos Cruiser didn't really mean to do. But it's gonna work out in their favor thanks to... Getting rid of all that intel for the Widowmaker. But still not enough. Look at this. Rebirth once again out in front. Just just ripping apart the blue team with the cannons. Has a self destruct available. If you wanna join Gwen, feel free to do so. Like, you know lang naman, just for fun. But if you're busy, just please enjoy the show. Thank you for tuning on in. I can't wait to announce the thing we're working on for the weekend. That's a little spoilerino right there. But I'll wait on official word for that. But looks like the word is not Tsukashi. He gets a kill onto the hamster. Just punching and kicking that poor hamster ball. And the Natsukashi squad wants to go on in once again. But we have the Nano Blade here from Callum. Gets a cut above onto Aster. This is KS Cruiser getting ripped apart in the mech. Just turned into nuts and bolts. Fire Falcon though turning things around with a takedown onto the Genji. It's not still. It's still not enough. That's really all I have to say about this right now. They're getting these picks one at a time. But the fact is that these picks are taking way too long to do. Full cry with a kill now on the Sensi. But there's even the res here from Deity. And while he, these picks are important in the long run on a 2 CP map, especially point A, you really need to get a kill first and foremost on the more members than one, and second on the slower moving players. So they can go on into the point with the stagger. Now we have an air shatter and a self destruct. Sensi gets caught on out. Natsukashi falls into the river. Ice cold, says the Doomfist. Rebirth now getting the mech. Firefly can see the charge, and here comes Dodge to try and save the day. The wrecking ball putting a lot of pressure onto the Reinhardt is able to get the kill. A minute 20 remaining. The blue team now still trying to keep this up with their attack, but the defense holding them. Holding them at the gates of Volskaya Industries. A ultimate ready here for Natsukashi. Meteor Strike always a good plan B for so many situations. Pile Driver isn't one of them. And he's gonna go at Dodge. Now the Meteor Strike coming on out. The Ana of practice knows he might be a target. He hops on out already. There's no Lucio. Self destruct. Goodbye, Natsukashi. And closure. Both of them get taken down. Perfect sleep start there from the Ana. And Dodge with the two as well. Even getting the DMX, so good combo play there from the two tanks. Able to get the takedowns. We should actually watch that one again so I can explain a little better. So Natsukashi dropping on down and just look at this sleep dart. This is the ultimate BM sleep dart. You know you can't do anything with some jump out in front. KS Cruiser honestly doing a little something unwise. Just goes on in with the mines. That's not how you mine sweep. Dragon Blade now comes on out here from Callum. And then another boost as well from practice to keep him up in top up. Both Full cry though close to the Dragon Blade and Fire Falcon not safe getting all the attention here of the opposite side thanks to the Nana Boost there from Aston. 
dodge going for the pile driver the reinhardt and the wrecking ball dueling once again and full try ready with jagabid the real question is will he go for it onto the with the maker not Skashi. perfect flashbang is able to get the takedown first take now taken here by the squad of the blue team can Bata Batuta actually keep this up as Dodge will go for the bolt. Pile driver, good boop there from the Lucio. And honestly, Closure would not realize how effective that poop was in in the scheme of ultimate economy. Because with that poop, Dodge wasn't able to get the mine, so he can't prime it at the start of the next fight. It might be all the difference as they go on in once again. Ultimate ready now here for the blue team, but Sensi with the pick off on to Natsukashi, turning all that analysis and throwing it out the window. Because Dodge now will passively be able to get the mines and just even those few shots to figure it, finish it out. Mines now have been popped, and Dodge just making a kill zone here. Aster with the sleep dart, good defense matrix once again from the Diva, keeping the wrecking ball away from any status conditions or ailments, just like Pokemon. Look at this, a full house here for the blue team. Six ultimates ready for play. On the other hand, Callum will try to turn things around with his own blade. Sensi needs the ultimates, just needs a sideline and a rifle. There'll be another kill. We do see the Dragon Blade right now. And Fire Falcon Natsukashi blowing their ultimates in that fight. Honestly, very questionable. Oh, a self destruction from Chaos Cruiser as well. The blue team wasting their ultimates in that fight, to be honest. Could have saved up those three ults for the next one. Natsukashi now switching over to the Widowmaker. Exactly what they need to do with Sensi in this engagement. On the other hand, the tank line losing those ultimates could have been vital, but that's gonna be even a more vital pick here from the blue team, just rupturing Deity and his skates. Dodge is now into the back line, and that's honestly good here for the blue team. But what? While Dodge is in the back, and we'll try to deal with Natsukashi. Natsuka, on the other hand, can just hide around. The red squad, though, just capitalizing on the very random movements here from the blue squad. Hmm. <laughs> What they're focused on right now for the blue team is just that duel against Sensi. Natsukashi, yes, is able to win it out, but the rest of his team dying. And here comes Dodge once again to try and hopper out the Widowmaker all the way into point A. You wouldn't see this regularly with a different hero besides the Wrecking Ball. And Dodge now spots out Parfakin. The Reinhardt, a little surprised that someone's shooting him from behind the shield. On the other hand, Kalam doing some ninja things. Gonna throw some stone stars there on to the Reinhardt. And now, Full Cry finally getting the nano boost that he needs. Is able to cut down the two rifle wielders. Self disrupt though, able to get a pick off on to closure for this fight. Sandbuyer this time from Dayton to keep everyone topped up. And Rebirth is gonna be the focal point of this engagement. Kalama with another blade. First, able to kill one, make that two, make that three. Good pile driver there from Dodge to seal the deal. And this is gonna be the red team with a successful hole. A minute and 20 remaining here for the blue squad. The point is that they can still take this dodge with the stagger at the end. But at the same time, the red team already proving superior in terms of their ultimate usage. When the blue squad had a full house of ultimates, they, they wasted three. And they weren't even able to get a tick with the other three. Both right though, able to pick off the overextending Kat Genji. But it's not gonna be... A vital loss here as the Genji can come in from the spawn. So Kalam easily, easily, easily back into the fight within the next few seconds. Natsukashi now switching over to the Sombra and Full Cry out into the middle. We do have the mines once again from Dodge making it rain. Fire Falcon first of all. Self destruct this time from the side of Chaos Cruiser. And that's gonna be a takedown on the Rebirth. Two for two trade. But then still, the red team with the ultimate advantage. Thank you for the follow there, Game Expert. 1, 5, 8, 3 more kills now going their way and the nano boost is available. The blue team has 20 seconds remaining. Can they actually get on to the point and force out an overtime push? Or will the red team already be able to hold it without another round of action? The nano boost is available. Practice once again holding on to this. Self shock now coming on out onto this back line. Gets absolutely nothing. Here comes Dodge. Pulse bump connects. Fire Falcon taking a lot of damage. And there's the fire grenade. The Reinhardt in dire straits will get taken down. Here's the nano boost now on the river. Just one tear apart the oncoming squad from the blue team. Natsukashi trying. Trying to go for the half. It's just no damage here from the Sombra. The utility is there. It's not gonna get any kills. And that's the red team taking the victory 2 to 1. Ew, is that uh is that uh Yuri's I see? Play of the game. Play of the game going over to Callum and 
This was a blade without a nano boost. So clearly it's Callum making it work. Good goal lessons there from Dati as well to keep him topped on up. It's the more is either I play Reaper or I play Farah more or less. And Farah is scary. Farah is scary. Very, very scary. We have to like dedicate teams to just try to take down the Mora's Fara. On the other hand, here's Shiyaki on the Zarya, full cry on the Genji, New Gear on the Zenyata, and Natsukashi on the Ana. So one for one trade so far as Dodge gets immediately torn apart by the Reaper exactly in as planned. Since he's gonna be on the fair and balanced Brigitte. And once again, marching on in, Callum and Reaper with to make that three here for the Red Squad. First stick already being taken here by the Red Team. Can they actually keep this up? There's the whip shot now from Sensi. Yeah, that's gonna be an easy capture here from the red squad. The blue team didn't know what to hit them. Even they even though they gotta pick up their on to dodge early on to the fight, it just was <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 my go-to phrase. There's always like a phrase or two I go to like every one or two weeks. And I guess I guess right now it's it's just not enough. But anyway, we have Tivara switching over to the Farah. Interesting enough, she doesn't have a Mercy. But look at that bounce and look at that kill. Direct hit onto the Hanzo. Finally whipping it out. Tivara into the skies once again. And let's go back into Radio Cam 6 for the Weather Channel. It's going to be live in the sky thanks to this Farah. Tivara making it rain. It might be a typhoon thanks to this lady over here. The Red Squad not picking a hit scan yet and besides the honor there we'll have the Hanzo though which is pretty decent to try to deal with the Farah but still isn't enough to be honest because it's the arrows are still a projectile it might be a struggle there the Redux to actually get the kill the red team going for the push and once again we do have the fast driver now from dodge dragon strike comes on in will not get enough sense he with the takedown just putting Pontrick to the wall isolating the full reinhardt Nigir stuck between a hay and becomes the needle instead gets taken down after everyone found him the red squad just pushing on in and there you go chiaki even being staggered for four minutes and 23 remaining here for the red team a lot of time on their plate to get to the end of this map the one without oh, Nano Blade is coming in. So, so telegraphed though. So the blue team already in control. Nigir pops at the Zenith. He's like, I am not gonna deal with this. So he just presses the Q. And Callum is is honestly stunned on what to do. Decides to back on that. Redux though will capitalize as the blue team all the way back inside in the backstage area. Funtrick just delaying the inevitable. Gets taken down. What the blue team needs to do is get out of this and get the kills. Shiaki has the Graviton Surge. Good dive in from both Rebirth and Sensi. A lot of aggression here from the red team. Exactly what they need to do with the Brigitte into play. And just keeping Tamora confined like a bird in a cage. Second tick now has been taken. Second checkpoint rather. And Rebirth will pop the Primal Rage. Just rampaging now. I thought this was a movie set about aliens. But instead it becomes King Tong 2. Electric Boogaloo. We do the Red Sea now with another set of kills. And they're just going to be able to push the payload inside the limousine now. Getting the red carpet reception that it deserves. I've only been so ready here for the blue team and just we're waiting on this. Tomorrow we'll pop the Rocket Barrage in the next fight. But it all depends on how Chiyaki will run things. Dragon Blade coming out from Callum takes a kill already on to both the two tanks. Perfect sleep right there from Natsukashi. But here comes the red team. Their tank line as scary as their DPS. There is the kill. Tomorrow out in the sky gets Dovon behind the Winston and dodge into the air as well. The red squad already close to the end. Can they finish it out? Maximum speed isn't achieved, but it's still not necessary. We have the Graviton, we have the Shatter, dragging everyone in. Dragon Strike though, in tow. Gonna be two kills going the way of the attack in this fight. There's the Mines, can the Blue Team forces out the Mora Rocket Barrage, but at the last moment, will be taken down by Callum. We do have a Dragon Blade here from Full Cry. Good Nana Boost there from Natsukashi, but Full Cry standing okay. That was kind of questionable for full cry i'll tell him later but the red team now on to the point once again three kills going the way the diva way too far by the way you can cut the mines <laughs> you won't blow up <laughs> just just a quick little fyi there guys if you see if you see mines you can actually 
You can actually kill them. You can actually kill them. Like, a lot of people actually... Ac a lot of people don't know that. Like, you can actually blow up the mines with normal abilities and fire. Like, it's honestly surprising. But, but yeah, just a quick heads up. Because... It's really... It's really... I've seen games. I've seen games at higher tiers. That they whip out Dragon Blade. Not to get any kills, but just to literally mind sweep. I've seen a transcendence do it as well. I've done it with Sandbuyer before, which is the funniest thing. So I pop the Sandbuyer, jump on the mine, jump on the second mine, jump on the third mine. I just keep bouncing on the mines like a frog. Then I finally die to the fourth or fifth one. So yeah, don't use Sandbuyer to counter that as and try to clear it on your own. Oh, what the fuck happened to you? What's to you? You okay? Well, you're, you're typing. What happened? What went. happened? Attackers incoming. That's a, that's a yikes. A giant gorilla, just like in those old video games. So thoughts and prayers there to Claire. Uh, looks like she's okay though. Damn, uh, car, uh, car accident is never a good thing. Hopefully you guys are all fine. But back into the game and. I haven't seen the skin in forever, the frog skin for Genji. It's so out of place to say the least. But we do have Genji here from Kalam. Practice on the Ana, Sensi on the Brigitte, Redux on the Hanzo. It's gonna be dodge on the Wrecking Ball, just onto a perch right now. And finally, re Rebirth on the Winston. On the other hand, we already see an initiation there from the Wrecking Ball. And Samora up in the sky already, focusing fire on the Redux. But the Hanzo staying alive thanks to the efforts there from the hamster. Kalam into the sky, just focusing fire heavily onto that Farah and is able to get the kill. No make that rebirth with that kill. So rebirth popping the shield at the end. We have to watch that again. Just make sure that's exactly what happened there. Rebirth pops the shield as Timora falls on down to the sky. So let's see it. So know that. So the Genji applying pressure and boom! Oh the Perfect shield right there from the Winston to get that kill. Sadly, no kill participation there. Should actually that should actually show up as a kill for the Winston. They should make that happen. Make that thing. Tomorrow though, under a lot of pressure once again. This What's time from the Ana. And looks like the red team has the Karas number in this fight. Not like the other scrim. The dragon strike still coming on in, and Redux will launch and unleash the dragon. They do have to contend with Podrick, however, the Winston staying on the point finally gets taken down. This is the blue team struggling to get back on. Full cry those spots on the wrecking ball. He knows he's there, but he can't shoot at it. So cheeky here from Dodge. We now have a jump on in. Rebirth up on top. Wants to deal some pressure onto the Hanzo. As the Dragon Strike is available here for the blue team. The blue squad now gonna go for the push. As Timora has the Rocket Barrage primed and ready to go. Has gotten maximum clearance in this fight. And we'll go on in from the left hand side. Redux though with the pick up onto one, and we have the primal rage pop now from Rebirth. Rampaging into the sky. Rocket Barrage pop. Timora turning things around does get three. Will it be enough? As Nagir has the Valkyrie available, can go for the. Can go for the res play, but instead a lot under a lot of pressure. Good Baka play here from Natsukashi. Just typing up the mercy, keeping Neo Gear alive, and almost turning things around on the Reaper. Look at the aggression here from, from Neo Gear. Not afraid of anything anymore. Just damsel in distress instead, putting everyone under the rest. And this is gonna be a nano beat boost here from Tsumora. Dragon Strike though in the stones here from the red squad. The mines are in play once again. And Redux with two coming out onto the back line, getting a kill. Make that two. Tomorrow though out in the sky has to deal with the Ana. And practice just being bounced around once again. Dragon Blade now comes on out. Callum back into the air, falls down to the shingles. But the red squad still applying this pressure. Oh, goodbye, Callum. But yeah, tomorrow with, with the engagement has been. Has been pretty good so far. The jump now comes on out. Punching back into the back line. Just rampaging, putting practice away from the action. Tomorrow able to capitalize with that lack of healing. And the Graviton Surge this time puts the Brigitte and the Winston to the wall. Full cry, perfect Dragon Strike. And that is gonna be a set of kills going the way of the blue team to allow them the capture of the point. A big play there from the Winston, to be honest. Just starting things off good. Good follow up there from the Zarya of Chiaki as well. 
So the first point now has been taken. So the blue team not out of this yet. Can still rely on the Farah. The real question is how will the red team defend this? They do have a Brigitte here for Sensi. And Callum playing as hit scan as he can with the Genji. But the real question is will they be forced to go for a McCree soldier or with a maker, especially as Westward allows it? Full cry Sonic Arrow on to Redux, just giving them sidelines of the corpse of the Hanzo. The wrecking ball now backing on out knows this isn't a fight that the red team can win for the time being. Reaver is still ready with the prime bridge, just jumping around once again. Look at all that healing going the way of the red squad. Dodge though hiding into the corner can go for the pile driver. We have a jump on in. Tomorrow has the rocket barrage available, and Callum once again dashing into the fray. There you go. Air shot comes on out, and Callum under pressure once again. Valkyrie though being popped here by Nigir, they're just gonna fly around as it's gonna be Freebird once again into the back line. The pressure all throughout the streets now of Westworld as a dragon will come on in eating the east, meeting the west and make that too. Crouching dragons come on out, intertwined in this fight. The love land of boost comes on the way of Timora, he will respond with the rock crush in time. Callum though, just going all Super Saiyan around the map, finally gets taken down by Timora. Literally 1 HP here for the Farah, staying all alive. But the real question is, can someone get taken down? Yes, she, they can. As Dodge with the hit scan guns, the machine's guns taking care of the Farah in that fight. So the red squad able to take control of it even with the pressure being applied there by Tamora. The rocket barrage perfectly protected by Chiyaki. But Callum was able to turn things around with the blade just dashing around the Farah, Not minding the rocket barrage, not trying to contest this. And instead getting and securing kills to allow the red squad to deal with the Farah properly in the end. It honestly looked like the blue team won that fight. But the red team able to turn it around so so quickly. The pharmacy once again into the air. The dive just rampaging into the sky. Sensi caught in between the Winston and the jail. And will pop the rally in response. Just giving some armor to throughout the rest of the squad. As well as giving him some extra healing. The mines now come on out. And there's the takedown on the full cry. The Hanzo getting caught on out. Nigger, I think the res now. Timora back into the fray. Chiyaki ready with the graviton surge. The real question is. Will the Zarya wait on the Rock Grudge or will it be a kill from Redux? It's the Hanzo now with the takedown. A Nana boost on the Redux and the Dragon will be enhanced in this fight. Chiaki dies in the jail and you might need some civil forfeiture or something like that as Redux just executing the prisoner. It's literally war crimes right here. The 1 HP is absolutely ridiculous dude. 10 seconds remaining and the Nana boost still in to check full cry. Gonna pop that dragon strike and it's gonna be the Hanzo Nana boosted up. Honestly, very questionable there from Natsukashi. No real play coming on now. Chiyaki with a Graviton Surge, but it's gonna be Timura sniped on down the red team with the win. <laughs> WN1 Very standard nowadays with the Orisa into play is able to just bombard the pathway into the middle and at the same time easily counters the popular goat strat on HLC. Also HLC has turned into a map where you just play goats in the first place. Like it's just it's actually really good for goats. And and you know it's it's the meta right now, so it's something they need they need to run. Something you do need to practice. Bio orb now comes on out from Fire Falcon. We have some right clicks practice, trying to apply a little pressure here. And on the other hand, Zombich getting hooked up, almost gets taken down. Look at all the damage going the way of the Winston, getting healed up by the Moira and the Zenyatta. In the meantime, the blue team still with control of the top part. Callum turning things around with a takedown onto Sensi. The blue team though going back to the point and we do have the Moira right now just healing up the two tanks out in front. Closure flying into the sky but anyway there's no skybox. It's with eyes in their colony. You're on the moon and the anti-gravity will kill you instead later on if you're outside. 
the Callum wants to go for the Zenyatta this time and Chris Aquino trying to go for a babe, best Babe root impression even though I don't, I don't know who pitchers are in baseball guys I don't watch baseball Redux though going with the Soldier 76 with the takedown Dragon Blade is out and about and Callum just unleashing the hidden art of the ninja the Red Squad already with the first take and Chokahe still wants to force it out with the Coalescence Unwise right there in that fight Redux with to self-destruct this time from Rebirth A lot of wasted ultimates here from the blue team They might actually regret it into this oncoming fight Could have used the Coalescence, the Transcendence and the self-destruct for this next one But luckily Zen will have the Reptar into play for just hitting one grenade And now the Fair and Balance Reptar ready and primed Can Callum get a takedown onto the Junkrat before it comes on out and it's gonna be Callum on the prowl. Spots out the Zenyatta, wants to get a pick off, and there you go, Redux with the takedown. Tactical Visor is ready and popped. The Junkrat though, under a lot of pressure. Here comes the Winston of Zombich. He has the Prime Rage, so he can contend with the point as long as he can. There's the Riptire now, and we get the kill onto one. Callum is the first to fall. Chaos Cruiser trying to turn things around and keep the pressure on with the Transcendence. And oh, the right click there connecting on to the Moira. First take now has been taken. Chris Aquino switching over to Diana, getting a snipe on out on the Chaos Cruiser. Zen into the backline. Once again, the Doomfist flying into the side. Good pin there from the Reinhardt. Dragon Blade this time from Sensi, but he has to stay on the point, or at least the Reinhardt for Rebirth can't see nine this. The blue team tried to bring this back and is able to do so. Redux still putting some pressure onto the point. No one here for the blue squad right now and if Redux actually just steps on it come on soldier what the hell what the hell was that Redux oh my god oh my god dude there's the road hog now going for the whole hog honestly I had to stop right there proper casting because I'm just flabbergasted Redux could have won it for the red team but this gonna be the dragon blade now Kalam wants to just bring it onto his own shoulders then though running around with the biofield and is able to get the kill onto the Genji the Nana boost coming out from Zombich this time and the blue team bringing this back for the time being Chaos Cruiser being paced to absolute death I didn't know if this was put this is America or something. Redux once again onto the point, gets a kill onto one, but the trade going the way of the blue team, the defense still holding. The red squad though, still applying a lot of pressure onto the point. This fight has not really stopped since the six minute mark. And no, looks like there are no signs of that perfect shatter there from the Reinhardt of Closure. Gets three, he takes a nap after that, just a little too tired like a Snorlax would do. A Sensi though, keeping out the Dragon Blade. And we also have a Tactical Visor this time from Redux. Finally, the red team win it out. But honestly, Redux could have been able to win this for his team a while ago earlier. <laughs> like, what is what is the opposite of a C9? That's what what the soldier did. Could have been could have been a lot less time here, a lot more time rather for the red squad. Uh, but instead, we do have four minutes and nine on the clock, which isn't, which isn't bad in the first place. Anyway, moving on to the next round, the red squad just had too much aggression there and was able to pounce on the unwilling blue team. On the other hand, the blue squad uh, wasting too many ultimates in this first start. The snowball came on into that second one, and the fight that started it all never really ended the red team always applying pressure whether with doomfist whether with the soldier whether with the tank line and the red squad right now heavily in control of this map the blue team though will have a chance to go for their attack the real question is can they capitalize it on this one we do have the orisa now here from closure as well as a Roadhog for practice. So an Orisa Roadhog composition here is okay. But you'd honestly expect the Diva instead to try and go for the contest onto the point. We have a Soldier 76 here from Redux who's just taking a knee, getting some arrows right beside him. And look at this absolute calm from Redux. Look at all that scrap though. Look at how messy the Roadhog actually shoots out. But anyway, we have a Moira and a Zenyatta. So Fire Falcon will be able to top up anyone onto the point. On the other hand, for the blue team, running something a little more standard. We have a Reinhardt Zarya pairing with a Genji, but also a Soldier. So I love seeing that 
the soldier having a return in a sense even though it's just for the scrims soldier 76 a pretty old pick to say the least honestly bringing back season one days helix rockets come on out but it's not gonna be enough penetrate the shield of the orisa zombich on the other hand taking a lot of damage won't have to advance on in perfect helix this time connect onto the hanzo and here comes the blue team pushing on in doesn't have a lucian for the speed boost but they'll still make it work with zombies just marching on in like a twin turret soldier sensi though doing some gymnastics there as practice with the pick off onto zen they do trade it out for the time being and the blue squad now all over the point cornering the red team the Risa trying to fortify out but it's chaos cruiser left behind in the dust the Orisa now gaining whip the part the barrier useless against the hammer Kalam though turning things around with the storm arrow pick off onto one the Hanzo now putting some pressure onto the Zario missing all his shots there and gets a turnaround play literally from rebirth practice though switching over to the wrecking ball will go for the contest the mercy under a little stress but they can easily stay alive against this hamster ball the roll around comes on not practice just delaying the inevitable here just being as distracting as he can be finally gets taken down so this is gonna be the wrecking ball staggered yes but practice can come outside very very quickly from the spawn as the blue team doesn't have anything that enables their movement no rally nor no speed boost and it's gonna be zombich though taking point for the time being Shatter now comes on out and we have the Hanzo on the floor. Zen able to get the takedown. Valkyrie though, being pop Choke Haze flying around. Rebirth with the Graviton Surge and Sensi whipping out the Dragon Blade in response. Kills Cruiser doesn't have the, dra the, the Transcendence and will get torn apart there by the Blade. It's gonna be the blue team now with another set of kills. The first thing already taken. Zen will pop the attack visor honestly way too early, but can deal with Fire Falcon. He's really low. No contest here from the red team. And we are gonna be here on horizon for the long haul. What is this? guys uh, it's gonna be oh so the red team actually losing out in the time back war that's that's honestly a choke there from the red squad they did look like they had to handle things on their attack but their defense extremely lackluster and we now will see some role swaps maybe here it's interesting to note that we they can run a triple dps composition as well with their lineup on the other hand here for the defense we have the reinhardt and a reaper this time from zen so the reaper very very suited in close quarter combat horizon <laughs> dude you don't you don't understand what horizon means to this community for some reason some reason or not it has become such a staple pick that you can't sub out and honestly horizon is usually our last map to just give everyone a treat who are who are both in the stream as well as in in game but since we got it early on in the rotation it is what it is and anyway the red team and the blue team look at that time map difference just we're gonna be here for 10 more minutes guys we're gonna be here for 10 more minutes at the very least for us it's the champ for kings row oh those are those are like proper picks for us. This is the this is the for the lulz pick. We always end up playing Lee Chang in King's Row, of course. Everyone requests for it. As Redux now with the pick off on to two is able to tear apart Zombich as well. And the red team already winning this out. Just it's only a matter of time now for the blue squad. The best thing they can do is try to get as much ult charge as they can and just get torn apart now. Zen gets sniped up by practice. Remember the last one finally falls. So the blue squad will have a full force on their defense for the second point and both teams pretty far away from ultimate so it's gonna be an even fight in both frontiers <laughs> yeah dude Lee Jiang and King's Row we those are those are always playable in the first place so now closure going into the back line we do see a discord guard though good positioning for just Aquino actually and they're able to tear apart uh, the Winston as he dives into the back line the good thing about playing Zen on point B for Horizon is 
the back line near your spawn is just very very strong to actually camp on back then when the spawn was actually like the middle part it was even easier to play Zenyatta just pop on inside and just laugh at the dragon blade uh trying to pursue you into your spawn now it's a little harder but still very strong because you can go onto the right top part now and just drop on down as well as the left top part and drop on down so more choices here for the zen and in return losing out the cheesy shenanigans but now for Sakino, not really in the best spot just being behind that area in the hydroponics with the plants not the best thing for the zen it's gonna be a tactic visor though closure with the pick up on the one sensi in the meantime in the back line takes down two but the red squad already losing too much in this fight they have to back off redux just running away putting up the biofield wants to turn things around onto zone bitch and it's gonna be zone getting taken down in this fight Dreti now hopping on in once again Redux thinking about going for the Draka jump but he's not gonna do it instead gets a sound barrier to keep him topped up Chaos Cruiser with the Valkyrie as well so the Red Squad spending both their support ults into initiation of the fight the sound barrier already decayed but has done its job to keep everyone topped up same for the Soldier 76 Sensi though with the pick up on the Doomfist it's gonna be a Dragon Strike now coming in out from Zen into the middle line it consumes his teammate but that's gonna do any damage Chaos Cruiser getting moved around gets taken down by the Fist of Fury here from Zombitch, it's gonna be Tazon in Fire Falcon gets picked off two for two. Trade so far, closure up on top once again. And Shoko Hayes getting picked off as the rest comes out just way too late there from the mercy. The red team now on to the point once again. This is gonna be Zen, however, trying to go for the contest to Hanzo and the soldier semi takes right now. Just playing with the girders, using them as cover. Very, very cheeky here from both Redux and Zen. The point now going the way of the red team here. Practice though with the snipe on to one. The mercy forced to hide on in. And we have a barrier from the side of the Winston. So the red squad just trying to keep their Widowmaker protected in this fight. On the other hand, here comes Sensi whipping out the blade. Kalam though back into the air will go for the beat strike on to Choco Hayes. Just too early though to get the kill onto the Hanzo Zen getting flung up and it's gonna be a sacrifice enough for Redux to keep the pressure on in this fight. The aimbot doing its work. Look at that. The tracking. An absolute masterclass there from Redux. Thanks to pressing Q. And the Red Squad already getting second tick. Here comes Choco Hayes going for the Guardian Angel play. Will whip on in, but gets sniped off by practice. The Red Squad almost has the point. Good contest there from Sensi as well as Zen. Zombich onto the point. Has to stay on. No, he gets booped off. It's too close. That was way too close there for the Red Team. And the Blue Squad right now, unfortunate result for them. Swapping the sides night now. Naska <laughs> Mazka. No, he did. <laughs> he got booped off, and that was that was really sad, honestly. But Zombich was playing a pretty good Winston so far. So kudos to him. The the Winston just the delays were more or less good. Could have been better with that last one. If he popped the Prime Bridge, I feel like the red team would have no time anymore. But this time, the blue team does have a commanding amount of duration to work with. Look at that, 548 in their time bank can just faff around with the lineup. Honestly, should run the GOATs instead. What's the schedule for the week? We have Community Scrums Tuesday, Thursday. And we'll see if we can hop on in with the Dugville TF guys on Friday. I don't know. I'll... So if Cal or Yuri's are still here, what's your schedule for the week? I think we can hop on in and on the weekend we'll have something super special. Cannot I cannot uh, say it out yet because the people in question have not finalized it yet. But we'll probably have something for the community as well on Saturday. In the meantime, I might try to do some StarCraft stuff again in my, in my time. And for now, Sensi on to the point. We'll go for the contest. It's the mercy of all people. Of all people! It's Fire Falcon who drops on down. And it's like, okay, I'm gonna go for the contest. And is oblivious to the fact that Genji tosses the Durkins at him. But now the mercy staying on alive. Gets protected there by practice on the Zarya. And the Brigitte here for Kreas Cruiser. Trying to apply some more pressure in this fight. Rebirth now with a pick up on to one. Look at this. The Hanzo and the Genji working together in tandem to get these kills. Here comes Kalando swooping on in. Whipping out the Doofus. Finally gets taken down. And my god. 
the the blue squad right now so quick with their engagement. Damn, closure is good. I love I love closure, dude. I love closure and I love I love how he plays. But for now, he's a little he's a little shaken in this fight. The Reinhardt not getting the shatter that he needs in time. The back Friday entry or regular. Let me check. Okay. Blue team though hopping up on top once again, taking the high ground. There's the hook now. Punch from Talim, however. Sizer Swam this time. Meter Strike will be whipped out. But oh, the Dragon Blade from Sensi gets to already. The McCree gets caught out by the mid path. And this can be a cascade of kills here for Sensi. But he loses out on the Dragon Blade. Has to meet with the fist instead. Grab the surge though, but doesn't catch up. Choco Haze, perfect boundary timing there from the Mercy to keep away from the oncoming Graviton Surge. And Zen able to turn things around with a full hog onto two this time it's Chris Aquino with perfect timing on the transcendence honestly Chokahe shouldn't have been down below but the Zen saving it and okay we are gonna go into another round but look at the time difference a minute to 456 a ridiculous amount of time for the blue squad heavily in control of this fight on the other hand, the red team right now, a minute is 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 a something. Is a is a, a whimper compared to the big bang the blue team has done. So kudos to the blue team and uh honestly I I love I love the synergy here between the support line from Chris and Choco. But you know, like they, they have made a few small mistakes here and there. But when the going gets tough, they're able to catch one another. Like the Mercy they're getting shattered on, but Chris Kino came on in, had the transcendence of saving saving the day. And Choke is with a very well timed Valkyrie as well in that last fight. Honestly, the supports winning them out in the last engagement, keeping the pressure on, even since it was a 3 3 split. One advantage is very very key, but when you have ultimate usage like that to keep your members topped on up, you can keep the pressure on with the kills. But for now, the red team will be going for the Reinhardt and Roadhog combination. Practice gonna be on that Ana this time. So practice once again going and showing is flex muscles the red squad gonna move on in talum just jumping around once again zen up on top wants to go for the hook revert on the other hand ready with the bubbles i still don't know what this is called like i've been casting overwatch for so long i still don't know what the what the gun for zarya is called yes and the bubble is really called but zombich now gonna go in for the shot the charge won't get anything, but Chaos Cruiser just staying way too long. Will get taken out by the Fire Strike. The blue team still trying to take control of this, but practice good by grenade to take down the Reinhardt. Sensi though flipping things over on its head with his Cyborg Ninjaness. Callum though going for the camp onto the sleeping Roadhog. Doesn't get a bio grenade from Tiana. Finally gets it, but the Roadhog already just hopping on out. We might see a rest. Callum whipping out the blade thanks to the old charge there given by the book. Of the Roadhog. On the other hand, Zen will go for the whole hog and Callum with two perfect sleep dart there from Pactis. Can the rest come on out? Yes, Zen back into the fight, but Redux turning things around and the Mercy gets picked off. A charge now comes from the side of the blue team. Zombich had the shatter available, didn't use it in that fight, went for the charge instead. So the red team will be able to get the first point. Yes, could have been better there from the blue squad once again, but. Callum and practice this time, showing how clutch these two players can be. Bio grenade on point, blade on point, sleep dart on point. Lots of good plays here from the red team. Um, on the, the red squad's already all over the point with Callum and Redux leading the charge. Redux still going for a clip on in. Blade now is prime and it's gonna be another boost on to the Genji. Perfect response from Rebirth, but there is no follow-up damage. As now the red team losing three. Shatter comes on out. Fire Falcon onto the floor. Zombich taking a nap as well. Transcendence this time from Chaos Cruiser. The red team with two ticks. And here comes the blue squad going for the contest. Blade is ready from Sensi. Gets rid of the Zenyatta first. Practice misses the dark this time and will pay the price for his. The Genji is clashing swords. Clash Blades, but the deflect isn't enough. Sensi now with three, clutching it out. Redux once again, just going for the zip on. Impulse bomb doesn't connect, and Fire Falcon on this point gets 
brought in like a lamb to the slaughter. The blue squad able to hold on to Horizon. And finally, the red team out of time. Man. Man. Man, this is a long game. This is a very long game, to say the least. I want to kill myself. <laughs> Reverts like ayo ko na po. Ayo ayo ko na po. I I cannot, I cannot handle this anymore. <laughs> so yeah, probably after this one we'll do control maps next. Because <laughs> this is getting pretty ridiculous. 4:56 here for the blue team. A lot of time to get the full cap but at the same time that means they have a lot of time to screw up in the sense like if the red squad can hold them for those five minutes we are gonna be here for the long haul and five minutes doesn't sound like enough it's a regular pug this friday Ooh, that's that's interesting are you gonna play what's the plan what's the what's the plan for that one because i will we'll talk about it later on like Let's, let's, I'll volunteer it. I'll check my skin first before I, I PM Cal about it. But he already knows I'm interested. For now though, the red team gonna be running this Reinhardt, Zarya, Ana combination. Very, very standard honestly from the red team. They still have the McCree and the Genji. And I'm really excited for the McCree changes. The combat role getting a buff in terms of cooldown, getting the cooldown reduced will allow McCree to be a little more aggressive and at the same time be even more potent because that insta reload very very strong to be honest the blue squad though with those pickoffs Zombich once again with the dive alongside Zen Sensi cutting a path to victory it's something the first thing taken here in the first point so the blue squad right now winning this out in terms of offense and this just goes to show both teams suck at defense <laughs> The objective has been taken and here comes the blue team right now and they have the superior time back advantage Well, because while both teams kind of suck at defense the blue team a lot better of course than the red team Now we might see a turnaround play as Callum with a pick up onto Chris Aquino almost has the blade Redux whipping out the McCree this time going for a few picks or two The DPS now doing the work that they need to do to keep this point in their possession Zombich getting d mech just going for the bunny blaster play and is able to get the kill on the Reaper, Callum whipping it, whips out the blade however at the end. Honestly, very questionable there from the Genji. Could have won it out without the blade. The red team now finally winning the first clash of their defense. And they do have two ultimates in the backline. On the other hand, the blue squad can have their tank ults in play as soon as this fight starts. We do see closure though, just making a car wash of electricity in that fight dragon strike this time will get some damage done and fire falcon staying way too long will get taken out practice though whipping out the nano boost on the closure as he backs on out so a little a little miscommunication there from the red team closure should have fought instead or at least dana shouldn't have gone for the nano boost we have a primary reach this time zen with going with the fist of furies but takes a nap instead self-destruct will get the kill on to one redux able to hide and is able to get the kill on to zen dragon blade from sensi this time will be assisted by the transcendence the blue squad though still in control of this fight sleep dart is deflect it does miss and there's the kill now on to practice the winston going for the contest and there's the chance from chaos cruiser the blue squad still in control of this fight but for but for for how long because they're gonna be forced to back on out instead redux swoops on in we'll go for the rollout and it's gonna be a dragon layer here from Callum. when you want to do it i'd probably go with your schedule in the first place unless i have something zen now Okay, we're working. So Zen now on to the fight once again. There you go. Sleep Dart coming out from practice. He has been so clutch with these Sleep Darts. But this self shock might turn the tides in the favor of the blue team. As Zombich goes for the Terrorist play. We'll be able to get Fire Falcon. Closure being focused on. The Winston out in the middle. Able to hop on out. And Redux now will go for the step on in. Gets the, the Rod Punch into play. But three picks now have been taken by the blue team. Here comes Fire Falcon from the side. The red squad might turn things around with this grab. 
spawn surge. And there you go. All to the point. Zombich misangling the defense matrix. And that's gonna be a kill going the way of the red team. Contest comes out. Callum and Fraft is all to the point. They both do fall. And the blue team finally win the game. The long haul here on the Rise of Lunar Colony working out in their favor. GG. Yeah, I'm on good. If you go, I'm on nine. That kind of thing. I'll probably show up around nine, if ever. Last time, I I, I was ready by eight thirty, and I was like, oh, there's there's nothing yet. Okay, cool. Not that the blue team win it out. Nineteen nineteen. So we were here for around 20, 25 minutes to Busan, back into Korea. Korea. The best Korea. Best Korea right there. Wait, long. What? Is this? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, I, I thought I thought that was the regional map, but apparently this is a map Korea. I kind of I kind of got faith there. But anyway, interesting. Interesting about that map, honestly. Just, like, I just want to talk about the map real quick. Interesting to note that it's still half of the peninsula. So even in Overwatch, North and South Korea aren't together. So that, that's a thing. That's a thing. But anyway, back into the fight. Both teams taking the high ground. Wanted to get into the Voltus 5 suit. Uh, pods. But Rebirth instead with the jump on and able to get a pick off on the Troy Henry set. Fire Falcon on the other hand, Fire Strike comes on out. Sensi is able to get taken down. The blue team going for the point, however, they have a Brigitte into play as well as practice onto this Windowmaker. He's trying to go for a snipe. But Rainy and Fire Falcon turning things around. Shatter comes on out. The red squad is able to get the flip in the fight, taking down four in that engagement. And now as the cover is gonna come back on top the red squad taking control of this sensi falling into the water that is some weird water right there now the blue team does have two ultimates on the other hand we have a primal rage prop already here from rebirth he wants to go for the aggressive play onto the honor but redux staying alive and will get taken down by the mccree just corralled back into the pen Jagger Blade now comes on out and Rain is going crazy. Will get picked off now this time by practice. Graviton Surge from the Red Squad. Jump a haze out in front and Chiaki getting the Nana Boost. The Laser Beam just doing so much damage into this fight. Will go for the push. Practice this time. Getting Wilton down. Gets taken down. Chiaki so far has gotten one and a half. Make that two. Zombich will call both his mech and his pilot. For now, Red Team. Already heavily in control of this. 45% so far has the battle trigger ready and waiting to go on as well. South Jacto from Zombich. Will this lead to a kill? Yes, it does. Chiaki and Redux both get torn apart. Just a self destruct on point once again from Zombich. This guy has had a amazing diva experience. If you guys don't know how well Zombich plays plays Diva. He is very very good at those self-destructs in the Blonde Supplat tournament. He was such a big highlight just tossing out those self-destructs like candy and getting kills in return. The Zombich might need to work on a little bit on his protects place but his self-destruct angles are a class of its own. As the blue team right now with the pick off on to practice with Hanzo play this time popping up on top like a whack-a-mole and just able to get two so far using console as a perch point here for this Hanzo. Good. Good use of the map geometry there from practice and this is gonna be the blue team now pushing on in from the right hand side. On the other hand the red team ready with three ultimates. The Valkyrie is ready and waiting. Oh, Sleep Guard connects and Sensi. Goodbye, Sensi. Three ducks now going for the push. We have a Valkyrie pop from Funtrick to keep everyone topped up as well. Coalescence will be done in response and trying to counter out all that extra healing. But both ultimates just pretty much nullify each other. We have a Dragon Blade this time and Chris Aquino already with the kill on the Rainy. Honestly, the Dragon Blade way too telegraphed and good call there from the Moira to keep the fate in check. Self Destruct coming on out. Not gonna get any kills this time. Grab it the Surge onto the Diva. A lot of rage there onto Zombich. Took a Haze and Troy Henry having a duel. Finally, the McCree getting the win. Chris Aquino has to hide, waiting for the Bio Orb to be into play. Sensi, on the other hand, turning things around. And here comes the Moira back into the fight. Sensi with two, just clutching it out at the end. And this is going to be the blue team with the push in up on top once again. Rebirth though with the dive and practice will unleash the Dragon Strike. Very good in these narrow funnels of Mecha Base. 
Pawins now into the fray. Para Falcon first to fall and practice once again on the same spot. The Hanzo uncontested just doing the exact same thing and getting the same results. Troy Henry though able to get the Winston. Can he get back into the point? Sensi is there to greet him. And that's going to be the blue team taking the first map of the sun. But now the red team down one map and it's gonna be it's gonna be far back and sing karaoke i wish <laughs> i wish that all the heroes will get something like that just like how they do it in horizon like the telescope i would love to see all the heroes have a karaoke thing and i hope like each of the maps one day will have something like that something interactable and that'll be like a cute little easter egg for all the maps in the first place but for now, the blue team will be running this dark composition once again. Has worked for them before. And the Hanzo and the Tracer combination, pretty potent. But this time, we have Chiaki on the Brigida has had enough of Sensi and his shenanigans. Practice though, able to get the headshot there on to Rainmi. Sensi back into the back line. Fire Falcon, getting a fire strike there. Will get taken down by Practice. To the blue team right now, already with the first pick off. Oh no, Chiaki catches out Sensi, who gets stuffed up up on top of the truck. The blue squad though already getting the train stations on their way, so we might see some trains coming into Busan this time, controlled by the blue team. Red squad though gonna march on in. The Chi Brigitte of Chiaki will engage first, and there you go, Rebirth is gonna fall in the back line. On the other hand, Troy Henry getting some free hits. Has the dead eye available. We do get the DMAC now from Zombich. The Diva falls to the hand of the Widowmaker. And the Red Squad taking this back. Practice and Chokhe is powerless to actually stop this. There's the sleep dart now. And Chiaki marching on now. Goodbye, Practice. The red team for now moving on in once again onto the right hand side. Just waiting on for the blue team to funnel. On the other hand, Deadeye is available. So the blue squad might be able to make this count. We have the rally from the side of Chiahi. The red team going for the march on in. Sensi in with a flank on the on the left hand side. Just being chased out by Troy Henry. Just gonna not be enough. Rain Vido being contested by the opposite Hanzo and a Sam Barrier is into play. Blue squad going for the push with the Spotify beats and there's the Dragon Strike this time coming on now. John Hayes with the coalescence as well. In the meantime, Rainy up on top, just getting the free hits that he needs. Self-destruct for after that one for one trade gets absolutely nothing. Zombich doesn't get stunned on up, but the blue team taking control of the point. Rebirth gets contested by the mercy. Good movement there from Funtrick. He used the corpse of Fire Falcon to get on back to the point. And now the bigger, rather meaner Reinhardt able to get on by, just contesting the opposite Reinhardt and that's gonna be Rebirth getting sniped on up. So it looks like the red squad has finally found their stride in this fight. 64% and counting here for the red team. On the other hand, Chiaki and Fire Falcon as well as Troy Henry ready with three ultimates. Rainy though able to get the snipe on that. The two Widowmakers now going for the duel. We have a rally this time from the side of Chiaki just topping up the red team with some armor. On the other hand, the blue squad wants to go for the push. Practice up on top once again. The two snipers dueling. It's gonna be Rain V under a lot of pressure, but still wins out in the end. Good Widowmaker play here from Rain V. Inversight now has been popped, and Troy Henry whipping out the lasso, able to get to flashbang on the Sensi as well. That's a team kill, and that's gonna be the point secured here for the red team. Just watch this one. So, yeah, Rainby winning out the sniper duel, but this was more impressive. The shatter, perfectly timed there by Fire Falcon, and Troy Henry able to get to look at that overkill on the Sensi. Just, just the, just the problems they've been have, having against the Tracer of Sensi, finally being alleviated there with the shatter, the sleep dart, I believe, as well as the flashbang stun. For now, both teams are tied one apiece. Whoever takes Sanctuary will take the win. Who will the Taco Brum beat for? Will it be the blue team right now running the triple main tank composition? Is this for real? <laughs> Zombie's gonna be on the 
Arisa no okay. So it's gonna be a Reaper instead. I was like very surprised if he actually ran the Reaper. Honestly, I don't know how it would fit the lineup using the Arisa rather. But for now, Rain Lee switching over to the Farah. Perfect pick already. Because the Farah able to get free rain here. We'll have perfect sidelines down below. A few hits here and there. Can always hide behind the uh, the eastern houses as well. And that's gonna be the red team already taking control of this. The blue squad has to switch out their DPS right now. They need the Widowmaker, a soldier, or a McCree in this fight to just deal with the Farah here from Rain Leaf as well as Funchik on that Mercy. They can also try to contend it with their own pharmacy. <gasps> Zombich on Bastion. Okay, that's something. I wouldn't have said. Do you enjoy this? I love. I love your. Me I love the new songs. So that's gonna be. That's gonna be things I'll be playing. I'll, I'll be looking for a few more music like that. Zombich now on the Bastion is not a bad pick because you can still move around like a real hit scan in Regon mode. But I don't think Sentry mode will be the best thing to try and deal with the Farah if. The fire already has the opening salvo onto you, and the rocket barrage will pretty much secure a, a kill there for the fire against the bastion. Mainly though, will make it rain already. Takes down the two supports. Zombich gets the contest, and that's what the recon mode does. We have the sentry mode this time, and fire falcon with the shatter doesn't get the kill, but it's Roy Henry there. Come down the Yuri Reinhardt. Zombich gets three, so the Bastion wasn't a bad pick at all, but still, it's not enough. Sensei perfect headshot. Oh, the one make that too. Chiaki and Redox don't know what hit them, but just losing their heads in that fight. Red Squad though still in control. Funchik just whipping out the pistol, taking some pot shots, gaining as much ult charge as he can. And Radio on the other hand, switching over to the Hanzo. Very, very smart there. Easily can easily deal with the Bastion with that hero. Shatter now comes on out. And honestly, Zombit should have woken up Fire Falcon in that fight. Sentry mode is whipped off once again, and it's gonna be a tap on this time. So Zombit will take the fight to the red team as Reaper takes care of two. I honestly feel like tap mode is both okay, but also a little underwhelming. It's like a pretty balanced, but at the same time, it feels like Sentry is really the most powerful mode for Bastion. And you can just go switch to it on the fly. Now Zombich now able to take care of Fire Falcon once again. And the Bastion trying to get good sidelines here as Sensi pops another head this time onto Troy Henry. The lamppost actually saving the honor there, but it's too late to save Rain with this time. Sensi getting the in-between shot. Just what was that movie where they could curve the bullet? Oh yeah, wanted something like that. This ridiculous right there. Sensi now flying up in the sky. It was so so brave there from Sensi. Wanting to get the kill onto the Mercy. Sadly, with that Fire Falcon now getting the Nana boost, but not anti-healed, so isn't gonna get healed up by that burst from the Ana. Now the blue team gonna go for the graph the surge. The Ana's still alive, but now Redux getting a hammer to his face instead. On the other hand, Rady switching over to the jump rat, just making some grenades rain onto the point. Sleep threat this time doesn't connect from the side of Chris Aquino. And I just love this bastion here from Zombie. She's just making this work. Honestly, the last pick I would expect. And the red team on the other hand will have to try and contend with this. I feel like Rainy shouldn't have switched over to the Farah. While the Bastion is a little annoying, he can still win it out if Zombich went into Sentry Mode. Now Rebirth getting a Nana boost. Troy Henry though in the middle line will be able to get the kill on the practice. The dead eye still connecting. A charge now comes on out, but it's Rebirth on the back foot because Sleep Start and Ant Hill is such a bad time there for a Reinhardt. So the red team able to bring his back. The blue squad on the other hand on the retreat. So what they should do is just accept their death. Troka Hayes and Chris Aquino have to back on out in time for this next fight. But the Ana might get picked off. Sleep Dart almost connects, but perfect bubble there from practice. Knowing that the, uh, his Ana was out of position, just gives her the bubble instead. Very, very smart play now. But practice this time, very questionable. Goes on to the point, and that's gonna be the blue team conceding it. The red squad win it out 2 to 1. Very creative there from Zombich, but the red team just having the more stable picks. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this position here from practice. Storm arrows and then pew 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 pew. Pew pew pew.
So I think we should go for one last tournament, which I will release. I only I still have the vods for that, but I never release them. They're very old, and you can see my old quality, like production quality. So I'm so I'm so happy how far we've moved on. But yeah, so the December was a tournament, January was the precursor, and then February was when things started. And now it's gonna be rainy on the Bastion, and we are gonna have a blast for blast. But Zombie able to get to with the fire strike, and that's gonna be the blue team now. Going on in MK boys, go play with Yamina. Ready, ready, nakai. The blue team once again pushing on in Chiaki and Zombic. Perfect tank line. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't need to say anything about that because Chiaki and Zombic, far strike in with just laser beam perfectly from both. The tank line here from the blue team is just so, so impressive. And we have a Graviton search right now. Far Falcon put to the middle. But it's gonna be the fire still into play. In the meantime, Rain Me and Santa Pops applying some pressure for the time being. Is that Fascinate the God? Fascinate now get ready to play. As Redux now with the pick up on to one Zombich will be able to outclass Fire Falcon once again. So the two Reinhardts having this duel, but Zombich able to win out in most of these fights. Oh, there's the Earth Chanter as Fire Falcon just comes back out and gets slammed already. Banana boost still from Fire on to Fire Falcon rather. Joy Henry clutching it out at the end. Redux able to get the kill now on to Culture. And this is gonna be the red team with three pick offs for the time being. Grab the surge once again from Chiyaki. Can he turn things around? Sensi whipping up the blade, Santa Pops and Fonchek as well as Fire Falcon all do fall. Sensi just going for the hero blade, gets for Troy Henry with a kill and gets taken down rather as well. And this is gonna be the blue team pushing on and Rainy getting vaporized there by Chiyaki. A team kill there from the blue team. An amazing display there from both Chiyaki and Sensi. I can't believe that Chiyaki got a Graviton Surge again. So for now, the blue team. Oh! What is this? The blue team has had so many clutch plays in this just defense. Self-destruct this time though. Santa Faust with a takedown on the Zen. The red team now getting two pickoffs and finally it looks like we do see a chink in the armor for these guys. Chirpa Hayes getting a res on to Zen however and he's gonna go for the transcendence play on to the point. The blue squad turning things around. They have the rally. They'll pop it. They're gonna go for the close quarter fight. Far Falcon going for the charge. Just not enough. He hits the wall instead of anyone else. Santa Pops getting D-Mech and getting staggered on to the point. Finally falls to the hand of the Genji, the blue team. The blue team has been able to clutch this out for the past two and a half minutes. And I can't believe that it's been working out in their favor. But for now, Graviton Surge and the Valkyrie are available here for Choka Hayes. On the other hand, the red team once again getting the first pick thanks to the ducks. Since you go back into the back line, though, this Dragon Blade able to cut up Troy Henry first and foremost. Two more picks going the way of the blue team. Redux pours the back on out. Santa Paps whipping out the, ba the baby diva. But for now, the blue team still in control of this point. The red team really needs to change up something in their lineup. They might want to go for a Brigitte, exactly like that. There you go, we have a Brigitte now here from Pancho Rainy switching over to the Doofus as well. The problem is, the Zenyatta and the Brigitte isn't the best pairing. Troy Henry should actually switch it out, but they will have the Transcendence in this fight, so this might be the clue. One clash through the wall. Sensi though, getting stunned up, getting taken down, a one for one trade so far. Chiaki pushing on in once again, and there's the punish display from Zombich. Gets a fast strike onto out, but the trade's going the way here of the red team they have a slight spawn advantage and they can capitalize onto this santa pop though losing the mech fire falcon all the way in the back line so henry ready with a trance as well zendo no trance for him he's getting a lot of pressure from rainy rainy missing all the punches and the kicks and he gets kicked in the face instead a valkyrie this time from choker haze we have a dead dive from redux this time sensi holding the, the deep like up in front of it but genji now getting punished the red team now getting three picks able to clutch this out at the end can they actually keep this up does literally have a rally we have a valkyrie and we have the transcendence and supports using all they can to keep alive onto the point but now culture has fallen and this is gonna be the red team all over the point and they'll be able to capture it at the end god damn god damn this this map this game absolutely stellar honestly just that first defense there from the blue team absolutely absolutely clutch it wasn't perfect to say the least there are, there were a lot of things they could have done better not overextend past the bus or something like that or get caught out 
but just how clutch they could play it getting the ultimates in time just perfect timings from both sides on the other hand the red team finally getting the switches they need they still should switch out the Zenyatta but once again Troy Henry has the transcendence and you never want to waste the chance such a good ultimate when we don't get any stun done up and get taken down. That's what you get for overextending as a Doomfist. Troy Henry will pop the Transcendence and the Red Squad will try to stay alive. This will force the blue team to whip out the Graviton Surge as well as the Dragon Blade to just win this fight. So with the existence of Troy Henry on that Zenyatta, he was able to force out both the Zarya ult as well as the Genji ult. And honestly, this is the this is the only time I, I'll question a Troy Henry is done. There you go! What G this guy! So he switches over to the Mercy. This is something they need to do because the Zenyatta Brigitte pairing is very, very subpar in terms of healing with the Mercy. It's a little better. Could have gone the Moira instead or maybe the Lucio, but it is what it is. The Mercy isn't a bad pick. Meteor Strike now comes on out and goes through the back line. The Guardian is though to allow Choka Hayes to swoop on to the front line instead and stay alive. Two picks going now of the defense. And it looks like the red team not wanting to whip any ultimates as of now. Fire Falcon out in front still, but losing so much of his barrier HP. He might lose his life in this one as Shiaki goes for the flank and he's gonna go for the push. There you go, Zombich gets three with one fire strike. This guy has been burning bridges and burning people in, in a straight line since the very start of this map. 30 seconds remaining here for the red team. We'll see a switch off now. It's gonna be a redux on to the Farah. Troy Henry still on the mercy, so they can still capitalize on it. Rainy switching over to the Junkrat as well. Very, very potent on the street space of King's Row. Sensi though dropping on down will be met by Redux. The blue team wants to go for the push because they have the grab. And here goes Chiyaki once again with the flash. The Zarya Gals back into the fray. Funchik though turning things around with the rally. So there's to be a shatter this time from Zombies. There's a trance this also from the side of the blue team. Zen trying to keep everyone topped up. Self destruct though from side to pops to get the kill. Charge comes on out. And there's the res now to put Culture back into the fight. Zombies and Redux trading some kills. But the red team all over the blue team this time. And Zombies and Culture under a lot of trouble. Chop haze clutch in the middle of it. But the Mercy finally falling. Chiaki though, a lot of energy, can be able to whittle this down, here comes the duo once again, Sensi and Chiaki trying to turn things around, Rainwee onto the point, and here comes Santa Pops once again, so the spawn advantage here for the Red Team working out in their favor once again, can they actually keep this up as a Drip Blade now is whipped out by Sensi, just trying to carve a path here onto the streets between the Buxar as well as the Pop Sand, way too far, unless they have... leave it out oh my god did we really get disconnected right now are you serious we got disconnected at the most clutch of times unfortunate there you go we got a dc but it's okay the second checkpoint was the only thing that got lost out but the red team now gonna go for the push can they actually keep this up as Redux up on top once again? We'll try to make it rain. Chiaki though has a lot of energy. We have a shatter this time from the side of Zombich. But what just happened to the stream right there? As now two kills make that three. Go the way of the defense. They're gonna get the team wipe. Honestly, what happened there? Why did OBS suddenly disconnect like that? That's a little scary. But anyway, the blue squad still in control of this fight. Can they get the push on in? The rally is available. And the blue team can have these a significant that advantage pushing as well in this fight. We have two rallies now from the sides of both teams. Budget and culture though, just keeping the fight up. A gravitation surge this time from Shiaki just punch in the red team. But good defense projects there from Santa Pax, Fire Falcon almost falling into the hole. And there's a coalescence this time from the hand of Choco Hayes. There you go, the piercing damage, just getting the kills. On the other hand, Redux in the back line gets a snipe on out onto the Brigitte, but gets a fire strike in response. Zombich gonna go for the push, is able to get the swing onto one, make that two. Can the red team actually get back into this fight? Rainby ready with the blade in just one more percent, but it's one percent too long as he's gonna fall. Fun trick as well as Fire Falcon now going for the contest. The two just trying to keep this up, but Choco Hayes burn. 
perfect biotic orb just bouncing around. Self destruct being launched by Santa Pops and the Guardian Angel to keep the contest up. Troy Henry gained the res, perfect sweep one in from the Mercy, punching back into the fight so the Lucia can bring in the beats once again. Bring we though all the way in the back line. Use of the blade in the last fight. So very, very question. So very, very impotent in terms of damage potential. The red squad just going for the sneak. Fire Falcon gets the shatter and is able to get a kill onto Zed. So the fire strikes have been pretty on point from both squads, but contract now onto the floor. We have coalescence once again from Chuka Hayes. A rally from culture to keep everyone with the advantage once again. Contract almost falling. Good wall ride from him, but it's too late now. The red team able to only get two points here and the blue squad good good defenses who was that we got dc'd for like a second is that what happened i think like we got disconnected from obs for like such like a very very small amount of time and then it's just like boop, boop, boop. That was, that was weird. But anyway, kudos there to the blue team. Honestly, could have won it earlier, but the red team able to clutch it out with some good switches here and there. Zombie shot has no shot. He's a zombie. He's he's doing well. He's doing well with the fire strikes. Chiaki though has been the star player honestly of the blue squad, having those graviton surges into play at those times. Very very. Very, very interesting place from him. Get behind me. But anyway, let's, let's get back into it. I think my Windows Explorer crashed, so that's what happened. The government here is such a medieval. But anyway, guys, I do. I do thank you for tuning on in and I'm glad to be able to share this match with you. This has been very, very <coughs> close to say the least. Such an enjoyable experience this time. And for now, Blue Squad and the goal for Ibrigite. Is this gonna be a ghost composition? That is the real question. So yeah, they will run a 2-1-3 composition, no Lucio on their side. So what this means is the blue team will have a hell of a lot of healing thanks to the Moira and Diana as well as the Brigitte, but at the cost of this mobility. So the real question is can the blue team actually use that extra healing for a slow sort of siege? We have an Arisa, however, Santa pops up on top. Interesting to note, they don't have a jump rat and already Chiaki will pick up onto Fire Falcon. An interesting tank pairing here for the red squad will cause them more or less lose out in this fight. Funchek already powerless to do anything. No one to heal up. The blue team all over the point. And either Santa Pops or Fal Falcon should change it up. Or we're gonna go for the Doomfist instead. And yeah, there you go. We have a Diva, we have a Reinhardt. Also, the red team. Very subpar in that first defense. Could have gone for a composition that made you no know, sense for the point but it is what it is redux now with a pick up onto zen here comes sensi to try and go for the contest the widow maker try to hop on out we have the doomfist back in the fray and it's gonna be rainy now with a pick up onto culture so the red team gonna try and defend this corner redux still might struggle to get the sidelines that he needs can just hop on from the back line the red team though gonna go for the push once again we have the intro side right now the blue squad looking to go just go, go straight line go for the straight line push and in the end sensi just hopping up on top he's close to the dragon blade so the blue team can capitalize with the snowball effect chiaki and zombich can unleash their ultimate two of them already getting two kills choke haze once again bio orb this guy has been an absolute pinball wizard in this fight the blue team right now with five kills and compared to the red team's uh, attack, the blue team has literally been having smooth sailing. The red team, on the other hand, just stumbling over their lineups. Finally, they do switch it out to a far of mercy. Can they actually contest the second checkpoint before it reaches the end? Here comes the red team, and once again, it's gonna be a pick off Zen. 
with a snipe. Fire Falcon holding the shield will not go for the contest. So this is gonna be spawn advantage here for the blue squad all throughout this next fight. Fire Falcon though getting the nano boost will push in, get to pick up on culture already. Fire Strike is tossed on not. But finally that's the takedown onto the right heart. And here comes the payload coming to the corner already. Redux though with a pick up on to one inside for some reason and will try to hop on top instead. Because shot doesn't get a kill and it's gonna be Chiyaki this time whipping out the Graviton Surge. Will it be enough for the blue team to take the win? Fire Strike comes on not. No one test here it's gonna be fun trick dropping on down the mercy gets the rest no he won't and that's the blue team taking it a good game all around gg thank you guys a good game all around but the second half a little underwhelming compared to the first play of the game blue squad the blue squad's uh attack is meh but look at this just just look at this Able to turn things around. I think one of the plays for today will be from from the will be from this match. Game solid.